Deuteronomy 10. At that time, Yahuwah said unto me, Hew thee two tables of stone like unto the first, and come up unto me into the mount, and make thee an ark of wood. And I will write on the tables the words that were in the first tables, which thou breakest, and thou shalt put them in the ark. And I made an ark of shittim wood, and hewed two tables of stone like unto the first, and went up into the mount, having the two tables in mine hand. And he wrote on the tables, according to the first writing, the Ten Commandments, which Yahuwah spake unto you in the mount out of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And Yahuwah gave them unto me. And I turned myself and came down from the mount and put the tables in the ark, which I had made. And there they be, as Yahuwah commanded me. And the children of Yasharel took their journey from Birath, of the children of Yakan, to Moserah. There Aaron died, and there he was buried. And Eleazar, his son, ministered in the priest's office in his stead. From thence they journeyed unto Gud Goda, and from Gud Goda to Yotbah, a land of rivers of waters. At that time, Yahuwah separated the tribe of Levi to bear the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah to stand before Yahuwah to minister unto him and to bless in his name unto this day. Wherefore, Levi hath no part nor inheritance with his brethren. Yahuwah is his inheritance, according as Yahuwah thy Elohim promised him. And I stayed in the mount, according to the first time, forty days and forty nights. And Yahuwah hearkened unto me at that time also, and Yahuwah would not destroy thee. And Yahuwah said unto me, Arise, take thy journey before the people, that they may go in and possess the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give unto them. And now, Yasharel, what doth Yahuwah thy Elohim require of thee, but to fear Yahuwah thy Elohim, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve Yahuwah thy Elohim with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of Yahuwah and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens is Yahuwah's thy Elohim, the earth also, with all that therein is. Only Yahuwah had a delight in thy fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, even you above all people as it is this day. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, and be no more stiff-necked. For Yahuwah your Elohim is Elohim of gods, and Adonai of lords, a great Elohim, a mighty and a terrible, which regardeth not persons, nor taketh reward. He doth execute the judgment of the fatherless and widow, and loveth the stranger, and giving him food and raiment. Love ye therefore the stranger, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. Thou shalt fear Yahuwah thy Elohim, him shalt thou serve, and to him shalt thou cleave, and swear by his name. He is thy praise, and he is thy Elohim, that hath done for thee these great and terrible things, which thine eyes have seen. Thy fathers went down into Egypt with threescore and ten persons, and now Yahuwah thy Elohim hath made thee as the stars of heaven for multitude.